State. Yeah, you know, the last two games that I've watched of Conzo's team in Missouri, they were playing at a real, real high level. Obviously beat South Carolina by 15, and what they did to Georgia at Georgia was impressive. So we knew we were going to play a team that felt good about themselves on senior day. Uh, they hit us right in the mouth in the half, got a little dysfunctional, couldn't guard them, lost their way offensively. But I thought we really regrouped, and Vontae Shuler got, got hit. Legal play, wasn't anything, but he got hit in that hole right through his whole deal. His, his toughness to, to kind of play in that game and the way he played, he kind of spearheaded our whole comeback. Kermit, you mentioned the struggles in the first half. What really changed in the second, do you think? You know, I, I just thought that, you know, we, and I say a Bree and a TD didn't get in guard as, as they could guard. And I, and I thought in the second half that, that both of those came back and defended in a lot better way. Uh, Devontae was was good, and all of a sudden Brian got going. TD made that great play down three. I just thought we guarded better. Our one three one was uh, caused a little bit of a rhythm, and uh, so it was just had to hang on. I thought Missouri played really really hard. Y'all both for both you guys, you knew the significance of this game as far as the postseason is concerned. After the way things have been going to get this one, is there a sense of relief? I mean, what's the general feel right now for you guys? Uh, I mean, we we've been losing tough ones. I mean, you know, Tennessee, Kentucky, even uh, Arkansas. So just to even get a win felt good for the team, and especially the importance of it. It's our 20th win and our 10th win in the SEC, so it was very important. Yeah, I told I put it on the board. I thought it was an NCAA tournament play-in game. And I asked Brian and TD, have you ever played in a, in a tournament game that gets you an NCAA tournament? And they said, no. I said, well, you're going to be in one in Missouri. And uh, and I felt that way just because of our league, our, you know, our, our net, and some of the things that we've done. So. We feel good about that, and uh, but now it's going to be it's going to be a fun tournament, not for the coaches, but it's going to be an unbelievable tournament for the fans and players. For both of you guys, I, I know, coach, you kind of answered it there, but you never know for sure until the day. But are you guys confident you've done enough, no matter what happens in Nashville, that you're in? I mean, I honestly don't know how all that goes. For coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you ever know 100. <laughs> percent I've been in Middle Tennessee too long to sit there on a bubble and and not get in and those kind of things. So nothing is ever guaranteed. I do feel good about. Where we are, because our net will be, you know, this is a quadrant one road win, and it was, I think that's five for us, and our net's around, you know, 35, 36, you know, beating Auburn twice. So I, so I feel good about it, but I, but I, like Brian said, I don't think you ever really know until you sit there and, and see your name on that Sunday. Brian, what do you think of Xavier Pitt's performance? He seems to be a tough for you guys. Especially for me earlier in the game. I mean, uh, he was getting into the lane, uh, he really controlled the game, 8 for 12. Uh, not that many turnovers, so he's a real good young player, and he'll be a good talent uh, you know, as he goes on his career. Green, you guys got real hot from deep in that second half, shot around 50 percent. What did you see something open up, or were shots just kind of dropped from there? Um, honestly, I think we started trusting offense a little bit more in the second half. Um, just you know, moving the ball, taking uh, open looks, and uh, you got, like Coach says, you can't say my bad. And this time in March, you got to make the plays to win the game, and we did it closing out the game. With about two minutes left, that offensive rebound, and then Missouri double zero slipping, and then Davis getting that dunk. You think that kind of changed the momentum of the game, or changed the way things were looking like they were going to play out at least? Uh, for sure, that was a huge play in the game. But uh, to me, I think Devontae Shuler was really the spark of the game. Uh, he came in, lit busted, playing the hardest that he could, and he really gave our team a spark. And I know in myself, I was trying to play off of his energy, and I hope the rest of the team does too. Coach, their possession when you were up three with. 25 seconds left. What were you expecting and, and what you guys did? Yeah, well, you know, they, they kind of ran what we call a smash or slip, and, and we did a good job on it and because guys, they cut hard. I mean, they run, they cut hard, and, and Watson, and we just did a good job of staying and just made him take a tough shot, and then, then it got kind of out of rhythm, and then Bruce made a good block. You know, we wanted him to take a two, and we, we weren't going to switch the four man. You know, we didn't think Courier was even not going to really make a three. Uh, but I just thought these guys guarded their heels way outside the three. Kermit, so much has been made about Bruce's defense all year. For that one play, you made that block. Does that kind of show how far he's come? It has. I mean, that was. He, he's, he, he really played good down the stretch. He, I tell you what, uh, the big kid, I mean, Tillman's a good player. We tried to double him, and I thought Bruce really hung in there and tried to play. He played a lot of minutes tonight. You're right, that was a big block at the end. Who Watson? Yeah. Oh, I think he's one of the most improved players in our league. And I said it to our staff. I mean, there's no doubt. And those three young guards, they're going to be something in our league. They're tough. They're Conzo's type of guys. You know, they play downhill. They, they, you can tell they, they, they want to be coached. 
not afraid to be coached, and I love them. I do. I, I think Watson has been really good. Like, like Brian said, Pinson was, was great today. So he, he's, they've got a bright future here with those perimeter players.